Hello there, it's me, Sari. Today I'm here, hopefully, with a frugal tip on how to make your own stamp, sc stamp scrubber, but in a mini version, sort of. I mean, I have started playing with my Misty, and I'll, I'll be making a video of more tips when it comes to the Misty and everything later on. But for now, when I am stamping, let's say I would like to do something like this. Let's see if I can just put that in a flatter surface there. And I'll just ink it up like this and I'll be putting it towards the paper, pushing it a little bit and just lifting it up. And if I were to see that it didn't take completely, I could go back in with the same colour or perhaps a different colour if I chose to. I could just do it like this. And just bear in mind, now since I'm not having this flat towards the table, perhaps I need to press a little bit more. But here we are still. But the thing is that if I want to clean up this stamp before I take it off, I need something to rub it with. And I came to think about my scrubber pad, clear stamp scrubber. I mean, they, these come from different companies, but you can all, always clean your stamps with them. And I started thinking about the fact that I, I do like the way you can scrub your stamps here, but then you need to pick it up from your from the lid here, put it on an acrylic mount and then just do the scrubbing and everything. And I just wanted to find a fr more frugal way to make many of these so I can actually interchange with, I can change them because they t do tend to get wet and dirty so I need to clean them up, let them dry in between and still have something to work with. So I decided on getting myself some carpet and I just went to the carpet store to find something um, which isn't by the full price, let's say. So I just got myself a meter of it and started cutting out this shape. And I tried it out and the stamp got clean really well. So I decided on trying to make uh, even a smaller unit for this stamp cleaning thing. And I was thinking that perhaps a round shape could do nicely. And then I started looking at the things that I got at home and I found that I did have this Fiskash sort of rotary cutter thingy but I don't use it and I just felt like, well, let's say I were to make a handle of this one and just to have something to um, even out the surface here before I were to glue these down and then finally glue this one on. Or perhaps even use those uh, Velcro pieces just to be able to interchange or just change them when I have dirtied this one up, then I could take the next one and so forth. So this is where I'm at right now. But before I'm going to glue anything down here, I was thinking that I might even make a handle out of just these. Because it, you need something, because your fingers are going to poke out underneath here. And the mat is going to go there. So you need something to hold on to and still be able to do the scrubbing. But I'm still feeling like the... I'm not quite happy yet, am I? So I'm still thinking that this one could be nice, but the problem of course is gluing things to plastic, how long will it stay there? Well, I haven't even tried it out yet, so I might as well just give it a go now, might and I? If I don't succeed, well, it's about, it's a shame, but at least I did try something out. I did put uh, some double-sided tape before I started uh, die-cutting these shapes. I didn't think about it at first, but I was just thinking that, well, better later than never, eh? And I'm just going to put some really strong glue and hopefully it'll stay there and it'll give me, make this into a, a useful handle, so to speak. So I'm just going to glue that one down there, just to give it some kind of an extra strength uh, at the bottom and then I could go for one piece that haven't got anything just to get, get it down there and just give it some a squeeze still so it will stay in its place and this Karlsson's Klister is a Swedish glue I mean I'm sure that you have many different glues in your home countries and I'm hoping that will make it work for you so I'm hoping this will be something that I can use and I'm it feels like I do need three layers of this thing, so I'm just going to put a third layer, which I do have some tape on already, on one side. 
later on I realized that I could have put in the tape on both sides while I was doing the die cutting I couldn't tie. And these don't have to be perfect, perfectly matched up because I'm just going to give create a, a, a flat surface now before I'm going to do any more gluing down. Let's see now. And uh, let's see. It's always a hassle to get glue thing glue everywhere. And uh, well, let's see. My thought was intentionally to just have something to glue this one down on. And I'm thinking that I might have a good chance of actually gluing this one down. Let's see if I do need another one so I can make use of that centerpiece while I am gluing it down. So I have many surfaces to attach the glue on. I mean, this could actually work now, couldn't it? So I might as well go ahead and glue this one down with the, that um, really strong glue. And I don't really have to mind about or which side is showing because I'm just going to be covering this up anyway. So in this case I'm hoping I have created a flat surface like that. And in this case I'm thinking that I might actually use the complete bit here. Let's see where I'll end up with this. So this is a trial and error thing you see. Of course I could make an easy way out, I could just go and buy myself a piece of wood or something at a hardware store. But in this case I just fancied trying out this idea of actually having or using my um, deep cutting circle dies from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. So that's why I wanted to give this a go really. I'm just going to try to put it there in the centre and I'm sure I need to squeeze this a little bit so it won't stop, start gliding already. But you know, Sizzix has got a set of really nice circle dies. They also have ovals and rectangles and they can cut up, cut materials up to three millimeters in depth. And I just had these chipboard pieces at home and I thought I'd go with what I've got at home just to be really frugal about this. And uh, I tried die cutting this with that shape as well, but it didn't work. So I'm, I'm warning to you, this isn't going to flatten out to a three millimeter thingy, so you can't really, so, you had, so I had to use my scissors. And I just have to recommend you the big uh, tonic scissors, which has got the Tim Holtz name on it. They are really splendid when it comes to cutting larger things and as well as this matte. So I'm thinking that this might, let's hope that it's, it's going to stay there, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure really. And then I'm thinking that I could use these Velcro circles, of course I could go for a lengthy bit or something, but this is what I have at home, so it's about being frugal now, isn't it? So I'm thinking that perhaps I ought to have lots of these circles, and I'm hoping that the glue on these is strong enough. If it isn't, well then I'll have to go back in and just go with that Carlson's clister uh, later on then. So I'm going to put the harder bits on this piece because <clears throat> this is the one that's going to have something stuck to it. It's better to have the softer side on the bits that I'm going to be replacing, I'm thinking. Wow, so the glue isn't really ready yet. Something to bear in mind I suppose. I don't think that using a hot glue gun would be that much better either. I'm not sure. I mean I'm thinking that I might some need some industrial glue or something to make this work properly but, but still I just want to go right ahead giving it a go. Hopefully making it work like so. So let's put those aside. So I'm not going to mix them up. And then I have cut, hand cut this with a pair of scissors. The one drawback of getting these sort of carpet things is that they sort of fray a lot when you're cutting. But I'm hoping it won't be a problem later on. And let's see. And right now I'm just going to put them where I think they might end up nicely. And I'll have to do, fiddle with the matching of these later on then. 
So I'm just going to put them around in a circle and one bit in the center as well. It seems like they are sort of getting old these because they have sort of gotten stuck to the paper. Hopefully they will do their job keeping things in place then. And I'm going to try to fit one in in the center as well. So there we are. I do believe that this one, it doesn't say anything about how long I ought to wait before starting to use things, but I'm hoping, well it isn't stuck yet. But even if I don't get this one to work, I'm thinking that I'll be able to make it work with something else later on. So let's see. I'm, I'm sure that these aren't perfect, but I'm hoping still that they will like each other enough to just get stuck where they are. Like so. Um, and I chose this because this one has got a really nice handle to it. So I mean, already I was getting a really nice tool to work with. So let's see. I do still have this thing here, the stamp and everything. So let's see if I can prove to you that I can make it work. But I do need some cleaning first. I need to get that. So the cleaning spray that I'm using and that is my favorite is Ultra Clean. And this one is something that Hero Arts is a companion of. This is an old bottle and it does say superior, so I'm supposing that is an old company. And the thing, best thing to do now really is to just spray it on top there, instead of spraying here, because I'm thinking that that would fog up the plastic and everything. So let's see if I can make it work. Just cleaning it up like this. Hurrah! And there you see, there you have the orange. So in this case you can still keep that one there, continue stamping if you want to and just have a splendid time doing your thing. And I'm hoping that by leaving this as it is, it will get hard or stuck to this in let's say a day or so. I'm not sure, let's see. Perhaps I did something wrong but I'm just going to keep on trying now, aren't I? So that's it from me when it comes to the Misty for now. I'm planning on making a video where I'm showing lots of tips and techniques that I have discovered during but I have just had this for a couple of days so I haven't really had the time to experiment that much with it. I'm going to sign off right now and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.